Hello and welcome to another episode of Trending Issues on Vanguard Life. My name is Precious Chukudi. Alright, let's move straight to the highlighted trends of the day. And uh, we have hashtag Bonaboy, hashtag World Sickle Cell Day, hashtag Invictus OB, hashtag Mago Visayo. And also a very, very interesting post on Instagram about how married men and, you know, their mistresses. But we're going to go on a very short break. When we come back, we'll discuss further on this highlight. We'll be right back. Yeah, please, sir, please, sir. Give us some wisdom, please. <laughs> if uh, Habayomi, aka Habs, have been sent on her end, does that make him Habs sent? <laughs> Oh my God! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! <laughs> okay. Some more pizza. I know a guy. Okay. He attends Celestia Church. Okay. He's still in Stasha. Okay. Do you know what his name is? No, please. Celestine. Oh my God! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Don't leave me, please. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Trophy surface. Mm -mm. Beer. Beer, sir. Beer. Good. What is this? Shoe, please. It's not shoe. It's foot. Foot, please. What am I now? Food beer. I'm dead footed. Oh my god of mercy. Don't leave me, please, sir. Don't leave me, please, sir. Okay, I make a movie today. Okay. Only four people inside. Okay. You know the title? No, please. The weather forecast. Oh my god. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. One more, sir. Okay. Normally, when you have intercourse to somebody that is not your girlfriend, what do you call it? Fornication. <laughs> it's casual sex. Okay. But if I put on suit and tie, why are you doing it? Is this the casual sex? No, sir. Think about it. Jot things down. Okay, sir. All right, welcome back. And if you're just joining, it's still trending issues. Have you done your don't leave me challenge? You need to jump on that thing right now and do it. All right, let's move straight to the highlighted trends for the day. Bonaboy. Hmm. Why is Bonaboy trending? Of course, you know how Bonaboy has been making us angry of late and then all of a sudden he finds a way to make us very happy with him. That's why he's trending. So it turns out that uh, he jumped on the song Jerusalem. Uh, that song has been on you know the airways for a long time and you know the remix is just so nice to listen to and everybody's like oh my god you need to hear Bonaboy's sound the sound is just off the chains and all of that well let's take some people's tweets on what they're talking about Bonaboy and uh, this is from Instablog Ninja and they say uh, Bonaboy is Billboard's African most streamed musician far ahead of Davido and Whiskid Bonaboy uh, 433.5 million streams uh the video 285.7 million streams uh whiskey 176.2 million streams you may not like him he may say annoying things sometimes but one thing you can take away is that Bonaboy boy is a legend all right take this one from dr pam pam he says uh, does Bonaboy boy realize that jerusalem is not his song how are you going to overkill that remix that way? Fire! You need to really listen to that song. It's so interesting and you'll be shocked that, oh, Bonaboy can sing like this, you know, jump on that song and turn it to his own. Alright, this is from UG. He says, uh, drag, drag Bonaboy for his petulance and I will agree. Drag him for always throwing silly tantrums like a baby and I will endorse. Uh, but you see talent, vocals and uh, musical abilities. Is one of the top three in Africa, regardless of genre. All right, so take this one from Bobby. He says, uh, Call Bonner arrogant, hate him if you want, but don't deny the fact that he makes good music. Man went from Zulu to English and the Yoruba perfect to Af the African giant. I stand. All right, people are still talking about Bonner Boy. He has done some very, very interesting things. Of late, he was seeing a lot of things that Nigerians did not even agree with. Even had to log out of his Twitter account because he said he was always saying the truth and people were against him. And most Nigerian people were basically saying that, I mean, guy, we know you're confident, but you move from being confident to being overconfident and to even becoming very, very proud. I mean, we can't deal with all of this. We know you know how to sing well, but please come back to, you know, being a humble guy and, you know, respecting the fact that other people who have 
celebrated your hustle are the people who have actually made you to be where you are right now so away from Bonner boy uh, today is uh, hashtag world sickle cell day and um, of course uh, people are you know celebrating our warriors you know it's not easy for them you know during these trying times especially you know to be battling with uh, their crisis and everything going on with them and so that's the reason why today in particular some people are taking out their time to you know create awareness there are still a lot of people who do not know about their who do not know about their um, genotype and as a result of that uh, it's causing a lot of you know problems for them uh, some of them are still you know I used to have a couple of friends before uh, they were so in love they didn't bother to check their genotype and they decided to uh, you know the guy proposed to the girl hoping that they'd get married and you know he said they, they had a medium of how they would you know extract maybe the blood or something and then put in another blood to make the child become well or something like that but uh, it turns out the girl traveled to go to school and uh, she found love somewhere else and then that's how they did not get married and it's a sad one to see that some you know young people till now don't even know their genotype at least if you get to know your genotype you can you know avoid these future occurrences so we'll take this tweet from adabiki and she says that uh, don't rely on the genotype done at your birth uh know yours and your partner's genotype if possible you all can do a retest together if you all are incompatible leave the holy spirit alone and walk away uh, help your kids live a healthy life don't put them through pain hashtag what to go sell day uh, this one is from loot and it's their official page and they say what sickle cell day 2020 shine the light on sickle cell a child gets sickle cell disease when he or she receives two sickle cell genes one from each parent it is the most common genetic blood disorder over uh over like three million children are born with it worldwide uh, hashtag uh, what sickle cell day and this is from uh, patrick he says that to the thousands suffering from sickle cell disease uh, in our country you guys are amazingly strong and you inspire us uh, never give up because we love you and we care about you hashtag world sickle cell day and this is from kogi finest warrior and she says that uh, june 19th every year it reminds me that i'm a sickle cell warrior and i need to show the world how strong i am at least for my late sister who died from a sickle cell complication happy world sickle cell day to all warriors out there all right so it's you know if you have anyone who is going to uh sickle cell this is the time to show them love and you know tell them they are warriors and you know they will overcome it and of course they will become a uh, heal one day we hope so all right and also if you know you can prevent it please do prevent it don't get so carried away in love and say, oh, I'm in love with him so much, or I'm in love with her so much, I'm willing to, you know, risk it all out. Because in a couple of years, you might not just be what you'll be thinking. You know, don't make your kids feel sad. Don't make them start to cry and wish that they were never born. You can actually, you know, solve this problem from your relationship. Okay, we move straight to another very interesting one, and it's Invictus Zobi. I mean, if you know this guy, you know he was trending a couple of weeks, months back. You know the guy who appeared on Forbes list, and we're like, oh, he's a Nigerian guy. He's making money. He has done well for himself. Only for you know Forbes to really investigate, and then they found out that Invictus Obi is really not uh, who they thought he was. Uh, that he is a fraud star. And uh, before then, he had not even agreed to what we we're saying. But now it seems like he has already claimed it that yes, he really went into fraud. And um, I think that Forbes is not really doing enough. For me, I'll say that because uh, a couple of weeks ago we had uh, issues with uh, Kylie Jenner. Folks came out and said that uh, Kylie lied to them about her account statement and everything, that she's not a billionaire, that why is she lying and all that. And Kylie is like, come on, I never told you guys I was a billionaire. You came by yourself and decided that you wanted to give me the billionaire status. And everybody was celebrating me. I mean, if someone comes and says, oh, you're doing well for yourself, you're a billionaire, uh, a lot of people will relax and be like, okay, it's fine. It, at least it's one thing for fools to you know, like celebrate when everybody wants to be like on folks list. And that was what it is so i have a problem with folks uh naming people and saying oh they are this 
set of people they are doing well for themselves and investigating later after to find out that these people are not who they think they were i mean i think this thing should happen the investigation should happen before you call out people well let's find out why in is still in the news and uh, this is from E. Okun. He says that uh, Invictus Obi has pleaded guilty to a $11 million uh, fraud, that's 4.2 billion Naira conversion to Nigerian money, after admitting to U.S. prosecutor is into Yahoo Yahoo. Uh, he's going to be sentenced in October and could spend 20 plus years in an American prison. Crime no they pay, last, last. Hmm. True talk, crime no they pay. Uh, this one is from. Oga McCoy and he says Twitter never fails to crack me up. Look at what someone said about him because be Okay, let's take this and this person says uh, he's he will miss him um, iPhone 12 to 25 launch. Can you imagine? <laughs> he will miss about three World Cups final. He will miss 15 UEFA Champions League final Invict Invictus will miss the exit of APC the inauguration of PDP back to power we will miss Miss Enugun Kwabi, Abakiliki Opa, Oba, uh, Mabuja Klishi, and Chibido 2020. Talking about people on Twitter who like to just look for clouds. Alright, this is from uh, Oni of uh, Abuja, and he says uh, uh, Mofa arrested, Hush Poppy arrested, Invictus Obi arrested, Kubana Chief Priest arrested. This is why you should not measure your life using Instagram standards. Uh, remove fraud, crime, and compromise from the lives of many, many of these people. You've achieved more in life than them all. Exactly. Stop comparing yourself. They say comparison is the tea for joy. You say, ah, this person is doing so well. You don't know what you're doing. And then you, you start to assume and say, ah, they have everything going on for them. Until they get busted by EFCC or FBI. And you're like, oh my God, this is who this person really is. I beg, run your race. So stop looking at other people's uh, achievements. It's really, really important that you do that. Uh, this is from Cruz King. He says, uh, Interpol in Victor Obi pleaded guilty to fraud charges, 11 million US dollars, and might serve up to 20 years in jail. Hush puppy, kuku kill me. <laughs> well, it seems like this is the period of you know catching all the fraud stars. All right, this is from your favorite lawyer. She says, uh, in Victor Obi was on Forbes list, and it has now been proven that his money was acquired through fraud and will be spending up to 20 years in jail. Kylie Jenner was also on Forbes list and it has also been proven that her wealth was greatly exaggerated. Thumbs down to Forbes. I mentioned this earlier that, you know, Forbes is not doing enough. I mean, how do you say that this person is a billionaire and you come back and say he lied? No, you are supposed to do your investigations first before you call out, you call them out and say, oh, this person is a billionaire. You don't say, oh, in, in, in Victor's OB, I remember one of the interviews that he did and he was saying you need to perspire to acquire the desire you admire to you know all those things and they put like ah motivational speakers come again well you see that this motivational speaker sometimes you need to be you need to filter what you hear sometimes and now see he's a first star even he agreed and said he was doing a we are okay so away from invictus obi we move straight to magu and why is he trending you know magu is the efcc boss and a lot of people are saying that Oga, calm down. You keep saying you want to catch hush puppy, but then we have our own uh, politicians here in Nigeria who are taking our monies, who are doing all sorts. And you say you guys are proving them. Next thing they are released. I mean, we've seen cases of some governors that uh, they arrested them for you know fraud, and next thing they say they are spending time in prison, and next thing they are released. We've seen you know people like that, and people are saying, "Come on, you want to bring hush puppy into the FCC again?" I love leaving for FBI. I mean, you guys don't know what you're saying. All right, so let's take some of the few tweets of what people are saying. And this is from FS Yusuf. He says that uh, last week, Arewa House inducted Dr. Mago into Buari's Hall of Shame. Oh, sorry, fame. Uh, yesterday, AGF Abubakar Malami accuses the EFCC boss of diversion of recovered loot. Some people still believe in this integrity. I think we need uh, divinely orchestrated emancipation. Well, mm, that's what he's saying. Uh, this is from Hamar. She says, Saraki, Abkola Saraki has been vindicated. Mago is proving the reports by DSS on him that led to his uh, disqualification. Crook. Uh, this is from Nefertiti. She says, the only jail these little rats, uh, that's romance scammers, business email compromise, aka Alibaba boys, 
Hush Puppy, Invictus, Mofa, and so many still at large are only arrested so the EFCC can collect its own commission and free them. You think Magu is fighting corruption? Think again. Well, that's one of the issues. I mean, we see all these boys that they say, oh, yeah, we are. Okay, this week now, we had our own very good social media influencer, Ade herself. She was arrested because she was a picker, one of all these Yahoo oh, yeah, boys. I mean, and these people will be detained for a long time. But then we see our politicians who steal monies, who make life really very hard for some of us, and then they, they still let them go scot free. This is what they're talking about. I mean, you can't be telling us that uh, we're trying to fight corruption and then you're chasing over, uh, you're chasing after uh, love scammers, uh, people who are doing yaw yaw when you're not facing even our internal problem in the country. Come on. Uh, so we take this one from um, Egbon Oshoti. He says, We have the likes of Obasa sitting next to you. You won't do jack. But on live TV, Magu said it is the FBI and not Nigerian authority. Now he has a case to answer all of a sudden. This copy couple, this copy copy style isn't working. Start from those around you first. And uh, he replied to a statement where uh, EFCC said Ray Hushwapi has a case to answer with EFCC. <laughs> and there was the you know there was the headline that came out not too long ago where they said EFCC was fighting with um, FBI over who has um, who has um, you know Hushwapi's hand and stuff like that. All right, so away from. Magu, let's move straight to Fisayo. Um, Fisayo Shoyumbo is a journalist, investigative journalist. And yesterday, some of you must have noticed on Twitter how you know the reports that uh, Jimobi was dead, and you know his uh, media aide also came out and said he was a lie. Even his daughter in law had come out to say he's a lie that he's well and he's you know living through, and they only need uh, people's prayer and support to them. But uh, Fisayo keeps in insisting that uh, he's sure about what his source says. Uh, let's take some few tweets on what people are saying about Fisayo. And this is from uh, Rovafe. And he says, uh, Fisayo has insisted that according to his source, Ajimobi is indeed dead. Uh, the former Oyo State Governor's family has insisted that he's alive. Uh, we await proof from any of the parties above. The difference between life and death is so great that neither should be hard to prove. All right, this is from Ferra Jack Phoenix. He says that if uh, Fisayo's call is accurate, his rating surges above Kemi Olu lawyers, and uh, if he gets it wrong, he may have to provide his source because he sounded so sure. Well, uh, the next tweet you're seeing is from Fisayo, and he says that update. My source insists the late governor is gone, even though he still hasn't been disconnected from life support. I understand that others, uh, that other than placing him on a life support, first cardiology consultant is currently not doing anything else on him. By the way, many of those tweeting that Jimobi is alive have not seen or spoken to him since yesterday. His supporters and aides at the hospital do not even have access to him. Uh, the media aide who issued a reporter did it only after making phone calls. He himself has no first-hand info. So we we'll still take some more tweets on what people are saying about what Fisayo is saying. And uh, this is from Leola. He says, uh, Fisayo, please, you have to exercise caution and restraint in how you do this your journalism these days. Do not throw away the good the goodwill you enjoy from people. Ensure due diligence. Exhaust all means of verifications before throwing out such weighty news. We love you so much. Uh, this is from Babajide Blunt. He says, Fisayo uh, Shoyombo will be dragged if it turns out that Ajimobi is alive. That's his source that has never failed him in six years. will be given a certificate of fellowship. <laughs> this is supposed to be funny. Um, so, away from Fisayo, let's move straight to stories on Instagram. And um, we've been hearing of how married men cheat and they keep cheating, their wives are catching them in malls and everything. Well, this man has made a case for married men and has also, you know, advised women who are married to these um, serial cheaters and has told them, see, <laughs> that don't kill yourself, oh. focus on your happiness. But let's read some of the things he's saying. And uh, this is from Bright. He says, uh, married men and their mistresses, dear single lady and uh, married women, and as you choose the right man to marry and as you prepare for marriage don't worry so much about a man that won't cheat on you don't give yourself a necessary headache 
looking for a man that will always be faithful to you, uh, you won't find any. Are all men cheats? Are all married men unfaithful? I don't know. One thing I know is that many married men are still enjoying the comforting bosom of women other than their wives. You and I know this. I also know that you think men are trash, wicked and heartless scum. Look for a man that will take care of you instead. Then choose to be happy whether he cheats or not. Don't cancel the possibility of choosing a man for marriage because he cheated or will cheat on you. There is no guarantee that you will find a man that will cheat on you. Hmm. My people, how on Asiam, do you agree with this guy, what he's saying, that, uh, you know, especially for the women, do you think that uh, all men cheat and there's, there's no way you're not going to find a man that's not going to cheat on you? Do you agree with him saying, you know, if you find a guy that you like and you think that he can take care of you, marry him. And if you find out he's cheating on you, uh, just ensure that you focus on your happiness and all of that. But really, can we really do that? You know, women are really very emotional. You just see things like that and you're so heartbroken. You're like, ah, this man, how can he do this kind of thing to me? I will show him all those kind of things. And so he was making a case for married men and also telling women that, huh, don't kill yourself, oh. enjoy your life. Make sure that the man that you are married to, even if he's cheating on you, Ensure that he can take care of you. That's what's more important. But let's hear what other people have to say about what he's saying. And this is from Omo Balogun 90. He says, uh, he's right actually. It's just the man's choice not to. You can't force it in them. Uh, this is from uh, D. Dawn. He says, everybody believes they have the magic formula to best marriage. All I know is may God give you, give you your own soulmate, period. Uh, this is from... <laughs> Kendra, she says, my evil people, please say Akoko Efu. And uh, this is from Zayjane here. She says, till you jam the one that will put you inside bottle and tell you to back like a dog. <laughs> this one is really funny, you know. You've been hearing of all these people that have been doing all these special package ritual, you know, where they do this um, soap for finding the right man, all those kind of things. You know, that's the reason why some of these girls are venturing into those kind of businesses because they feel like if they find these people, they'll be able to help them tie their maid down, you know. And this person just said something. Now, you jump somebody that will put you inside bottle. I remember one video that surfaced online of one Bini woman that was, you know, advertising um, how to lock your husband inside bottle. Not bottle, she said bottle. So, <laughs> they tell you that that bottle is really very special. So, you just need to be very careful. Like they say, men, sit well, as in stay in one place so that the prayer that your wife is praying, praying for you will be able to walk in the right place. Don't be going up and down. <laughs> All right, so let's take this one from Josie Graphic. It says, any man in this house, please, how true is this? <laughs> and then this is from De Fair. She says, uh, every day, men, this woman, that, no, no, they rest. Okay, so let's move on to our social media page and find out what you guys are saying about what's going on. But let us know if you think that, uh, you know, they can make excuses for these married men and men who cheat in general. Like, okay, they will cheat though, so let them have fun. Provided they are taking care of me and the kids, it's fine. Let us know if you agree with what this guy is saying. Or if you're like, no, 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 no. If I marry you, you are supposed to be faithful to me. You're supposed to, you know, be, you know, attracted to me alone and all of that. Let us still know in the comment section what you think about it. All right, uh, and remember that you can equally uh, check some of our top stories on our website www.vanguardngr.com and you know you can like, share and subscribe on all our social media platforms showing on, the, on our screen and um, till I come away next time, of course it's trending issues on uh, Vanguard Live. I ensure you have a lovely weekend and stay safe, it's really important, coronavirus is still in town ensure you are cleaning your environment, you are practicing social distancing, you are washing your hands regularly, it's very important. Uh, thank you for watching.
Yeah, please, sir, please, sir. Give us some wisdom, please. <laughs> if uh, Habayomi, aka Habs, have been sent on Herod, does that make him Habs sent? Oh, oh my God! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! <laughs> okay. Some more, please, sir. I know a guy. Okay. He attends Celestia Church. Okay. He's still in Stasha. Okay. Do you know what his name is? No, please. Celestine. Oh my God! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Don't leave me, please. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it? Trophy sir, please. Mm -mm. Beer. Beer, sir. Beer, good. What is this? Shoe, please. It's not shoe. It's foot. Foot, please. What am I now? Foot beer. I'm beer footer. Oh my god of mercy. Don't leave me, please, sir. Don't leave me, please, sir. Okay, I make a movie today. Okay. Only four people inside. Okay. Do you know the title? No, please. The weather forecast. Oh my god. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. One more, sir. Okay. Normally, when you have intercourse to somebody that is not your girlfriend, what do you call it? Fornication. <laughs> it's casual sex. Okay. But if I put on suit and tie, why are you doing it? Is this still casual sex? No, sir. Think about it. Jot things down. Okay, sir.